Hey Hooper, it's Deanne Love here. We are taking tricks, four tricks, and we're putting them into a flow session or a sequence. We are creating creative combos. This could be one of my favorites. So I've picked four tricks and here they are. Grab your hoop while I'm letting you know what they are. The first one is a toss or a throw. Now I know even if you're indoors, it's okay because we can do little gentle throws. The second one is a smear or an orbit, if you like to call it that. The third one is a fold. Many variations of folds, so I'm just gonna give you one, but of course, you can create your own variations. And the fourth trick is a break. So we are going to do a flow session that is toss, smear, fold, break. Toss, smear, fold, break. Your beautiful creative mind is probably already coming up with a way to put those moves together. But here is the way that, one way that I would put them together. So we're going to start with a toss, then into a smear, then fold, and then break. Haha. <laughs> okay, so let's break it down. If you have other variations of any of these moves, go ahead. You could create just from this four trick sequence, you could create infinite possibilities and pathways. But here we go. I'm going to use my right hand to tap the hoop and then catch with two hands. So we start in the front plane. We're going to tap the opposite side of the hoop on the floor for effect and beat punctuation. And then we're going to toss up and over and catch. As you can see, you can totally do this indoors. Yes. So it doesn't matter where you're hooping. All right, so try that again. We tap and gently toss it up and over. Eyes on the hoop. If not, it could break you or something else. Let's not do that. We're going to catch with two hands on the inside so that we can seamlessly flow into an orbit or smear. How good is it when we just go from one trick to the next in flow? Yes. So let's try that while my shoelace falls undone. Tap, catch, orbit. Love it. You try it, I'll tie it. <laughs> See, I'm a hooper, but I'm also a rhymer. All right. So all those years of teaching children, tap, catch, smear. Now, of course, you can turn if you like. The next thing that we're going to do is fold the hoop off and to the front plane. So the back that is touching my booty, my hands are up around my ears. I'm going to fold forward and then fold one more time. And I might need to reposition my hand depending on the size of my hoop. Fold again. So now the hoop is down. So again, that looks like behind the back, fold over and forward fold again and I'm, I'm doing a little ghosting action here. So I'm holding on with my right hand and then I'm drawing my left hand closer so that I have a better grip. Otherwise, what can happen is you can feel really stuck because you're holding down at the bottom. But if you just smooth slide along the outside of the hoop and reposition in flow while you're moving, no one will ever know. <laughs> so here we go. Try not to hit yourself in the face like I often do there. This is also, all of these folds are just so fun to play with. So ah, let's not get too distracted, huh? All right, now this next little transition, what I'm going to do is my hands are on the outside, but for me, my right hand feels most dominant. So I am going to draw the hoop up. I'm going to let go with my left, draw the hoop up and spin it around to the left. From there, I am going to simultaneously squeeze my hand on the hoop and bring my knee up to break. And now I'm in the opposite direction. Also looks super duper cool. Okay, you ready? Tap, toss, smear. It's okay if you forget. I forget all the time. Fold. And then. Okay, here is the coolest part. You, as a hooper, will already have pathways that you have created. For example, when I tap, toss, smear, fold, from here, my natural pathway is to go into a two-hand mandala. Do that. Feel that. Then you can add. And then what you have is five tricks, a new sequence, a new pathway in your brain. How cool is this? Tap. My natural pathway is to turn in a circle. 
my natural pathway is to do other little sequences in between, but then I can come back or I can come back and add more. I cannot wait to see what this four trick sequence creates for you. Again, like in the other series and also like on learn.hooplovers.tv, the workshop creating combos, creating hoop combos, there are so many different ways that you can do this. Don't let that distract you or intimidate you. Let it excite you. This is very cool stuff. Your brain is learning new things and even if it feels wonky or you have to think in the beginning like toss, okay, I'm going to toss Ooh, and then I'm going to smear. It's okay. That's the learning process and you are learning. We are learning together. I'm so grateful that we get to do this. Make sure that you check out the workshop. It's only 11 bucks on learn.hooplovers.tv and this whole series on creating combos and sequences with your hoop. Activating flow. Big hoop love from me to you. Mwah.